By now you're used to me poisoning people on a regular basis in the cooking segments. I mean, I've always sort of treated cooking like uh, mixing concrete. If you can make a good batch of concrete, you can cook. But this time we've got something very special. Look at this. This is chefing, not cooking. We've got two containers. You've got an inner heavy duty stainless steel saucepan and an outer vacuum insulated container. They're both manufactured for maximum heat retention. So after an, an initial heating on the stove with the inner pot, it then goes into the outer container, the lid locks down, and now that will safely go on cooking for hours without the addition of any extra heat. It's a multi-layered saucepan, and you've actually got a layer of carbon steel in the base. So not only does that hold the heat well, it also distributes the heat evenly. Once you get used to cooking in it, you're going to use it at home too. So I'm now going to brown the shanks. Once it's taken on that heat, because it retains it, you don't have to keep on adding a lot more heat to it. You can afford to turn it right down. The thing is, you don't just have to use them with a the shuttle chef. You can, if you're travelling in your camper van or motorhome, you can use these for your everyday saucepans as well. So it means that you simply don't have to have your cupboards crowded with other saucepans. Onions and a bit of garlic in here. Now you simply want to cook the onions until they're just about soft, but it really is just like any other method of cooking. Just treat it like a normal saucepan. There's no special method of cooking that makes it any different from any other good quality saucepan. I'm actually going to add the wine and vinegar and let that reduce a little bit just to get the full flavour. Whatever liquid you put in at the start, that's the liquid that you're going to still have at the end. I'm just going to add the shanks back in with a tin of tomatoes and some stock. And that will be it. We'll just leave it to simmer on the stove for 25 minutes, just enough to get the heat right through into the shank. Right, that's now been boiling about 20-25 minutes. The time isn't really important, it doesn't overcook, but you just need to make sure that heat's all the way through. So I'm now going to transfer that into there. The spuds have been going for about 10 minutes. That can go into there. The lid locks down, and now that will safely go on cooking for hours. 60 degrees is your food safety temperature, so you just need to know that that food is still going to be above 60 when the time comes to eat it, which it will do and it will be cooked to perfection. Are you ready to taste? Oh, 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 oh ready? I've been ready for seven hours. Right, Gee. well, we've, we've certainly dished our... Oh, look at that. So it's a matter of lifting it out without the meat all falling off the bone. That's how thoroughly it's cooked, isn't That's it? That's how thoroughly it's cooked. And oh, if you... my goodness. Look, I brought my own spoon. <laughs> a big one. <laughs> so I'll put that oh, down there that. and what you've got is this beautiful gravy and Ooh. while these vegetables are probably a bit too small to notice but you will see still how the carrot has got still oh. its shape and they won't be overcooked. Yes. There we go, there's one for you. Oh, look, and look it smells fantastic too, you can smell the wine coming through. Um, Excuse me. <laughs> do this second one. Well, I'm sorry Lydia, I, I can't wait to say grace, I'll just have to tuck in. You go right ahead and we'll Close that up for somebody oh, wow. else. It really is nice, Wendy. There we go. Mm. Isn't that meat just beautiful? It's just falling apart, isn't it? Absolutely. It's just the best. And you can, on the road, you know, you could be doing that with buffalo, venison, kangaroo, any of those tougher meats. It just does a perfect job of them. Well, I tell you what, I'm not going travelling again without a shuttle chef. But I might have to get you to come along too, Lindy. This is just oh. awesome. Oh, wow. <laughs> Depends where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, we'll find out. And you're not just limited to savouries, Ruthie. You can have your homemade cakes while you're on the road as well. Whoa. And uh, <laughs> put it on at night before you go to bed, Whoa. take it out in the morning, and you've got your cake for travelling as well. I'm running out of hands here. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's always room for after. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I think we'll just cut it here while I run away for a while. <laughs>